Blessed be the name of the great Azima. We pledge our allegiance to the great mother Azima. Ahu ha. Humble children of the great mother Azima, I welcome you once again to the bosom. But because of our honest love for us, we do not strive with the fortunes that evade man. Let us drink from the water that unites the family before we prepare to present our offerings to the Father. Now you can step forward and present your offerings. Great Mother Azim, Ahu, Ahu. Great Mother Azima. Ahu. Ah.
your sacrifices are accepted before the great mother Azima. someone to introduce to the family. Yes, Grand Master. Bring him forth now. Tony, you are welcome. Thank you, Grandmaster. But before I proceed, I want to be sure that your friend Barbara filled you in on the consequences of what will befall if you lapse in your obligations. Yes, Grandmaster. Good. That means that you're ready to embark on the journey of fortune. This place is actually the place where privileges abound. Our mother, Great Azima, is ready to help you with your hard desires. But before that, you have to swear to an allegiance and loyalty to the great mother Azima. Now go on your knees. Close your eyes and raise up your hands. Kill your conscience. In three days, you will undergo a ritual that will prepare you to visit the great mother Azima. Only she will reveal to you the sacrifices you have to make to appease her. You girls worry too much. All right, I'll tell you. There is this very big friend of mine. Mm -hmm. He's a very big business investor. Mm -hmm. He came into town and I introduced him to your uncle. Wow. And guess what? Your uncle is going to be a very big investor as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. They traveled out of town. And let's say mm, they'll be out of town for a few days. And before you know it, they are back. Mm. Mm -hmm. But, Auntie, um, Uncle Tony didn't tell us before he left. Oh, he did not? Mm -mm. Sharon, you worry too much. Your uncle did not tell you because he doesn't want you to worry about things like that. Okay? Mm. But don't worry. By the time your uncle is back, he's going to come back with plenty money. Mm. And he will get you a big house. Mm. And mm. fleets of cars. Mm. Cars? And, yes. And a lot of goodies. Don't and you want cream. that? Ah. Like ice cream. <laughs> you yeah. like ice cream but so much. We are going to buy us chocolates too. Mm. We'll buy you plenty of chocolates. Mm. <laughs> okay. Don't you like that? Mm. Oh, of course like you it. do. <laughs> All right then. Let's go fix something. I'm hungry. Mm. Okay. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> you just have to be patient. Okay. You have as much ice cream as you want. <laughs> Welcome to the family of Fortune Tony. It's three days now. Your initiation is done. You are now qualified to visit our great mother Azima in her sanctum. From there, she will tell you what is required of you. Now, get up. What must I do to have the privilege that revolve around the riches of the Great Mother? You are to bring three little babies. All of them must be three days old. As your heart desire, Great Mother. Are you okay? What is it? I had a bad dream. What is it about? It's Uncle Tony. Yes. Two masquerades were chasing him on a dark path. And then he fell to the ground and the masquerade almost killed him. What? Yes. 
What kind of dream is that? Oh no, it was so strange. This is actually the first time I'm having this kind of dream. I'm so scared for Uncle Tony. It's okay, it's okay, come. Eh? You don't have to be scared. It's, it's just a dream, okay? It's just a dream. Hmm? Your uncle is fine. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. You're back to life now. Okay? okay. It's okay, sweetie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Good day, sir. Congratulations. Uh, yes, yeah, um, thank you, doctor. Yeah. Um, Dr. Believe me, uh, it's my pleasure to hear the good news. Yes. How is she and the little man doing? Ah, they are okay. They are fine. In really? fact, the, the little man is looking forward to meeting his father. To see me? Yes. Really? Yes. In fact, let's, let's go. Okay. Now. Yes. <laughs> ah. Honey, how are you holding up? You look tired. That's good. I thank God that you deliver safely. Very yeah? Okay. They're doing better than you. They're enjoying themselves somewhere in town. With who? With one of my men. I asked him to take them for shopping. Obviously, Barbara, you are spoiling those children. And you know it. <laughs> Don't you think they deserve it? You will even do better than me when your life turns around. So tell me, how did it go? 
I know you are here for your first assignment. Yeah. Tough one. I was required to bring three little babies. All of them. Three days old. Will you help me? Well, Tony, you know, I will always want to be there for you. But at this point, I am sorry, I can't help you. Any assignment from the Great Mother is a personal tax. You have to fight your own race. And when you win, the reward is yours in Ahu, ah, ahu, ah, ahu, ah. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. I can see you nurses are doing good. Thank you. Sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, well, I'm here on a brief visit to share the word of God with you and also pray for your patients. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. Okay, sir, you can follow me. Well, it's my pleasure to be with you here today. My name is Pastor David from Freeborn Chapel. But before I continue, I would like to know your names. So, madam. My name is Cynthia. And your baby, how old is your baby? My baby is two days old. Two days? Yes. Wow, this giant. Yes. Like mother, like daughter. Wow. Are you, madam? I'm Samantha. My baby is also two days old. Two days? What a wonderful coincidence. Yes, sir. You mean both of you get birth the same day? Yes. Our Lord is good. Lord is Our right. Lord is always good. Um, well, uh, before I leave, um, I, I would like us to share our testimonies. That is, if we have any. So, madam. I hope I took care of the testimony. All right, go on, go on. I had a problem with fibroid. This ailment obstructed me for almost six years. I even thought it would never go away, but I believe that there is God and He's always in control. By His power, I was healed, and now I have a baby. Hallelujah! Amen. The Lord is good. Amen. Yes, you know the Bible in the book of Exodus, chapter twenty-three, verse twenty-six, says that there shall be no barrenness in the land of the Hebrew. It is not your portion that you are going to be barren, Amen. and this is just the beginning of your blessing because I hope that this. Child here, we will bring more children to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And you, madam? Well, I was without a child for 13 good years. I almost lost hope. Madam, go on, go on, go on. You have a reason. Go on. Honestly, it was like hell for being without a child for 13 solid years. 
Many doctors we visited couldn't detect the problem we had. We almost lost hope. But I thank God today, I'm holding my baby. Hallelujah. You see, the Bible said that those that trust in the Lord shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Uh, this is just what the Lord can do. And by special grace, I believe that by this time, next year, you have another baby. But twins. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. So I'll be taking my leave now. I'll be coming from time to time to visit you in your houses. So um, before I leave, uh, let me see the other lady. We just put the bed also. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. I'm just as confused as everyone here. I'm just trying to understand what is happening. How can this be, Doctor? How the hell did this happen? How could three babies missing in your hospital? What really went wrong, Doctor? Calm down, sir. Um, I and my staffs, we were busy with patients as usual. Before we know, there was power outage in the building. And before we could rectify it, things started popping off. Doctor, can you hear yourself? You mean you don't have security in your hospital? People are just coming in and going out anyhow. This is a hospital for crying out loud. People come in here for medical intentions. We can't put our expectations on negative each time. Oh, you want to tell that to these grieving women here? Obviously, you don't know what it means for one to lose their babies. Let alone some innocent babies. We have waited so long for this child. Just in three days, he's no more. Doctor, I'm running crazy, doctor. But, hold on, sir. You are a senior detective in the police force. You can start off imme in investigations immediately. And we can give you clues and help. Did any strange person visit here yesterday? Any at all? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and of God visited here yesterday. <laughs> Together and share testimonies. <laughs> A man of God? Yes, sir. What is the name of his church? He called it Freeborn. Freeborn Chapel, sir. Yeah, exactly. Freeborn Chapel. That is what he called it, sir. Freeborn Chapel? Yes, sir. Did he drop anything? I mean, something like. Invitation or flyers or whatever. No, he didn't. <laughs> but there is something he did here when he came yesterday. What did he do? Tell me. <laughs> he requested about the age of our baby. 
And now those are three days old and missing within our home. This uh, is becoming suspicious to me now. <laughs> Please, I need you to give me a good description of this man. Something is really wrong. Time to present your offering, Tony. Ah, great mother of Azima. Ah, ah. Are the three heads of the babies there? Yes, Grandmaster. Oh, hmm.
is the right joy in staring at me. I can't get enough of it. Really? Yeah, I can't just get enough of it. <laughs> Please tell me. I'm curious. I want to know, how did you make it this big? Knowing you initially and now, there is a huge difference. So tell me, how did it happen? Honestly, all thanks to Barbara. Yeah, Barbara. She fits me up. She introduced me to this big businessman. And with the help of my little intelligence, like you said in the law of business, create your own customer base first. Yeah. yeah. So I assume you followed the law. Yeah, exactly. I was made the sole distributor of a particular merchandise. You don't say. Angela, it was like monopolizing an entire business empire all to myself. Oh my world! This is so, so impressive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. I'm happy for you. Angela, hmm? can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Can I take you home tonight? <laughs> uh, Tony, if I get it correctly, you're trying to say you want to take me to your bed. Honestly, Angela, if I have the powers to keep you in my bed forever, believe me, I will be the happiest man ever. <laughs> But you don't need powers to do it. Just say it. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tony, 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 you mean you own this big place? 
Yeah. Let's go inside. My word. This place is big. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Tony, I can't believe this. This is a big palace. This is an empty Let's go inside. <laughs> cool. Hey, you're all set to go. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll see you later in the day. Hmm? Safe, eh? Yeah. You too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bye. Hello, Tony. Hello, Mom. How are you? I'm very fine, Mom. And how are you over there? Well, you know how it is here now. I'm, I'm under stress. Eh? I, I'm trying to settle our debt. By the way, I've not heard from you in a long while. Oh, give me mercy. I'm sorry, Mom. I've been very busy of late. Uh -huh. Busy doing what? What are you doing now? I am managing a little business for my friends. Is it that your lady friend called Vavu? Yeah, yeah, mother. Uh, Mom, uh, I want you to forget about the money we are owing to Fozo. I will pay him tomorrow. You will pay him the money tomorrow morning? Yes, I have some money here with me now. Hey, Nambiko, just hurry up and pay him. I cannot wait to get my house back, please. I'll do that, Mom. And uh, a, a little something, oh. If you have just a little something, can you send that course to me? Because I am very broke. I understand. I'll try. It's Wonga. Thank you. Uh -huh. How are my grandchildren? I have really missed them. Okay. Can I see Amy Obuna greet everybody for me? Oh? I will, Mom. Oh, thank you. I'm waiting. I will say. God bless you. Bye-bye, Mom. Hey. Ah, now I can breathe. Chai! How could you book a book for me, fam? This load is finally off my shoulder. <laughs> hey! So Chief Ozo actually gave me money and sent Amrabas to collect it back from me. And they even shot me on my leg. Matthew. Matthew, my own brother. After all I went through, you set me up and sent Amrabas, your friends, to come and collect my money. <laughs> we shall see. Hello, Chief Ozo. Yes, who am I speaking with? Chief Ozo, you are speaking with Tony. Are you ready to pay back my money now? I guess that was the reason you drove my mother away. Yeah, I didn't just push her out. I also told her not to come to that house until my money is being paid. She thought I didn't even bother how she feels, where she is or what she's doing right now. Why should I care? When what I got from your ungrateful mother is accusations and insults. You gave me money and also sent Amrobas to collect the money back from me. And they have the guts to shoot me. You know you cannot deny it. They have already showed me. They? Who are they? Chief Ozo, never mind. Send me your account details immediately. All right. 
I am waiting. Oh, who does that? Ahu, ah, ahu, ah, ahu, ah. <laughs> Tie this boy. Hello? Did you just send 500,000 naira? Why don't you go now and unlock my father's house and tell my mother to go back home? <laughs> All right, I'll do just that immediately. Consider it done. Eh? <laughs> 500,000. This is the guy. Okay. His name is Matthew. You have the address already. Yes, boss. Make sure you bring him here to me. Okay, boss. You can go now. Let's proceed. Matthew. Matthew. Who you be now? <laughs> Your presence is needed somewhere. As God, I'll be with him. My presence is needed as God. Who you be, oh God? They tell me say, wait the All worry. you need to do is just to do as I say. I don't think so.
a gun. The former person in the house for Joseph will sit here. See? Sit here. If I go sit down, you will give me a drink now. The common person will sit here. I know why I keep quiet though. Got this thing with your waist. I know why I keep quiet though. I tell you, yeah. Someone will attend to you soon. Huh? You heard me. Nonsense. They wear white and white. I don't know whether I'm going to sell this. Nonsense. How's white? Colors white. Hmm? Colors white. Colors white. Hey! Hey! Matthew. Matthew. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Hey. Hey. Matthew, welcome to my world. It's a love password. This one is Jerusalem. Uh, hey. Matthew, sit down. Eh? Sit down. No, no, the chair is too soft. No, 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 no. Matthew, sit down. Uh, hey. 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 I trusted you. Not true, not true. You were supposed to be my brother. Hi. But you and your friends planned and took away my money. Despite all I went through, you saw my condition. I almost lost my life from those armed robbers. Trying to keep the same money you took away. Matthew, okay. you betrayed me. Uh, you were supposed to be my brother, Matthew. Not true, not true. Not true. And you are here trying to beg me. Please, please forgive me. We are still brothers, please forgive me. Please. Matthew, mm -hmm. that money you stole changed my life. Hi. You turned me into something else. I was left with no option. And suddenly, I found someone who offered me a solution. I have no choice than to go with it. Mm. Matthew, I am who I am today because of you. And you stand here to beg me for forgiveness. I will never forgive you. I press never to touch it. Don't say that. Please, don't say that. Yeah. We are still brothers, please. Don't forget to this is Bilejo. Please, forgive me. I beg you with God, please. Oh, shut up! Yeah. Did I hear you say God? Don't you ever mention that name again because you don't know him. Hi. You are wicked and evil. Tony, please. I beg. Please. Please forgive Such me. Such is life. Hi. One good turn. Deserves another. Hi! Hey. 200. I told this since I go. One day, bring my leg, come and say, Nice, yeah. The person caught if my 200 might be this guy's house. I beg, please forgive me, bros. I beg. Yeah, please. Mm. Friends, please. Uh, mm -hmm. Your friend. Okay. Hey. 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 So what do I owe these visits? I brought you an offer. But I don't know if it will fit in the plan.
follow me. <laughs> he fits in perfectly. <laughs> that was actually the criminal who stole my money. Hmm. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> If I did go. Chief, chief. Chief, chief. Chief, you've not told me why you are being so happy. These days. Because for two days now, you have been happy. <laughs> we eat large. Mm -hmm. Did you win jackpot <laughs> or something? Tell me. <laughs> like a jackpot. <laughs> Do you still remember that money? Eliza and her son owe me. Yes, I remember. 250,000 naira. Exactly. The boy paid me back some days ago. Eh? <laughs> he didn't just eh? pay. He eh? doubled it. You mean it? Five hundred thousand. Wow! Five hundred thousand. Hey, man. God. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Eh? Five hundred thousand. <laughs> Upon what you did to the wonder. I don't know. They knew now. They knew I did them some good favor. If not, why would you pay me 500000 instead of 250000 I lent to them? Hmm? He knew I did them a huge favor. That's why he's trying to show his appreciation. Uh, it's all good now. <laughs> hey! It's all good. He's showing his appreciation. Hey! Has not eaten anything he hasn't eaten before? No, I don't think so. I, if he did, he would tell me. I'm the only one that cooks for him here. Your husband's condition is very serious. Very, very serious. But no problem. I will see what I can do about it. Okay? Don't bother yourself. I will make some medicine for him. And when you apply it on his body daily, I believe he will be fine. Okay? Don't bother yourself. Okay, we get it down now. We go, sir. Now, we go. Lunch is ready. So go upstairs, change into your casuals, and come down so we can eat, okay? 
I'll be waiting for you okay. girls. So be fast about it. <laughs> eating your food. What is it? I'm scared, auntie. You are scared? Why? What happened? I heard the cry of a baby this morning in our room. And not quite long ago, I heard it again. The cry of a baby? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Maybe it's from our neighborhood. Not in this house. No, auntie. I know what I'm saying. The voice, it was so real. It was like, it was in our room. Okay, there's no problem. Just eat your food, okay? I will sit with that. Huh? Eat. So honey, yes, love. I'm considering visiting a bridal store in China. I heard that product is the best for now. No way. How can they be the best? When we have countries like England, Italy, Germany. In fact, let me show you some designs I browsed out. <laughs> let me show you. You see this design, you see? Wow. <laughs> I told you. This is beautiful. Huh? Honey, did you hear that? Heard what? The cry of babies. Which babies? Where? Esther complained about the same thing. Esther complained about what? The cry of babies in this house. No, that can't be possible. I have been living in this house before you all came, and there is nothing like that. Hmm. Maybe it's from our neighbors. Neighbors? Okay, maybe, maybe. Um, so, <laughs> I'm showing you. <laughs> See, look at this one. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> what about this one? Wow! <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'll take you to the hospital. Get it back here! Thank <laughs> you. 
Chief. Nah, Chief. Hey. Hey. Chief, hey. Chief. Chief. Oh, my God. Oh. Chief, Chief. Chief. Chief, Chief, please don't go. Chief, hey. <laughs> just well. Can't you see it? No, she is not. See, honey, we need your mother in this house. This is our first child. My mom is dead, that's why she's not here. But since your mother is alive, let her come. What is happening? What is going on? Please. Honey, don't start. Don't just start. This is my house for crying out loud. And whenever I make decision, I expect you to be cool with it. Are you for real? Be cool with it? Yes. Honey, please. I need your mother in this house. Please. Is that not your baby crying? My baby. Go up and check on her. It wasn't my baby crying. Something is obviously not right in this house. Why the cry of invisible babies in this house? Why? I don't know. You don't know? Oh my God. Oh. Tony, the first time you came to this place, we made it known to you those things that will implicate you. One of them is conscience. We do not tolerate conscience here. That is the first rule of this family. That's why we told you to kill your conscience when you were being initiated. We told you about your first assignment. You were determined to do it because you had no choice. But after that, you had great remorse about killing the three babies. And then you started finding it difficult to give your mother money because you don't want her to be part of this. 
because you think it's not right. All that is conscience, Tony. That is what is killing you now. And as long as you continue with that, your membership of this family is inauthentic and you will continue to have problems. Grandmaster, I realize all that. But we have to put a stop to it because it is getting out of hand. Everyone in my house is troubled. And the woman I married is a very sensitive woman. She's beginning to suspect me, and I don't want to get implicated. All I want to do is to live in peace and pretend as if nothing ever happened. The great mother, Azema, knows the value of mercy. She will always give her children a second chance. You will present your little niece for cleansing and total liberation from your turmoil. What? Esther? Yes, Esther. That's the only choice you have. Besides, I see great spiritual potentials in that girl. She will be trouble for you in future. So bring her for spiritual cleansing of your entirety. Oh. What is it? Where are you going? I'm sorry, madam. I'm leaving. I can't stay in this house anymore. You are leaving? What is the problem? Ma, I don't think I'm safe in this house anymore. The cries, the little babies, they come every now and then, and now they appeared in that room. The, the, the what? I saw them, three little babies. What about my child? She's in a court, ma'am. Tony. Hello, Tony. Hello, Barbara. What the hell is going on? I have done everything they asked me to do, yet nothing is happening. I have sacrificed my little niece, and yet the situation is getting worse. <laughs> I understand your predicament, Tony. But I do not think I am the right person you should be talking to right now. You already know how things play in our circle. Listen, if your problem still continues after sacrificing Esther, then I don't think you've done the right thing. Tony, I told you this from the beginning. You are not ready to dance to the tune of your conscience. Barbara, you need to help me. Please. My house is no longer a home. Everything is turning upside down. I wish I could, Tony, but I'm sorry. You just have to play along. There is no going back.
Hello, Mom. Hello, Tony. How are you? I'm fine. We are okay. It's been a while now. I'm not bothered to get in touch with your mother. Um, I'm sorry, Mom. I've been stressed up lately. Are you okay? No, I, I, are you sick or something? What, what is the problem? Uh, mother, there is something I want to tell you, but I don't just know how to say it. You don't know how to say it? No. Find a way to say it. There must be a way to say it, because now you have got me bothered. You've gotten me worried. What is it? I want to tell you that Esther is dead. <laughs> About two days ago, and when we woke up in the morning, we found her dead. Hey, mom, mama, take it easy. Take it easy, mom. Take it easy. Esther is dead. I didn't even bother to tell me. Girl, you didn't even bother to tell me. You know how much I love that girl. Eh? Okay. Hi. Oh God, God, God! Why didn't you take me? Oh, okay, w where is our body now? Um, I buried it. You have what? You have buried her? No, 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 no! Wait, Tony, Tony, please wait. She was sick. You didn't call me. She died. You didn't tell me. Now you have gone ahead to bury her body. What are you talking about, Tony? How could you? Tony, how could you? You know how much I love that girl. Are you trying to tell me I will not see Esther's corpse? Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry, Mom. Just that I didn't know how you were going to take it when I, when I bring back her corpse home. I, I was just trying to make sure that nothing happens to you. You know how much I love you. I, I thought I was doing the right thing. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Mom. How can you be thinking, Tony? How can you be thinking? What would I get to think? Tony, you will go. You have finished me. Tony, you have killed me. Hey! How? How? Esther, one more. Hey, one Hey, Jesus. Ahu, ah, ahu, ah, ahu, ah. Where the hell are they heading to? Where are they running to?
Pastor, please, you need to help me. Honestly, I am scared. Three babies just appeared from nowhere. I'm confused. I don't know what to do with my child. But please, you, you just need to help me, please. Please. Since when have you been married to your husband? Um, for more than a year now. How much do you know? Look around you, Tony. Everyone you see here has been in alliance with the great mother Azima for many years. Right from the time of their initiation till date. They have allowed peace to reign in their hearts because they know they had to do what they did for life to move on. But then we are prepared to settle for it. So why are you different? So different, Tony. Why can't you make peace with yourself and enjoy the fortune of our great mother, Azima? like every other member of this family is enjoying. Why would you give way for guilt to overwhelm you? Listen to me, Tony. Whatsoever you are suffering now, you brought upon yourself. We can only help you the way we can. But you have to try harder. Because if you continue, your miseries will torment you you are doomed by it and that woman you kept in your home has to be very careful she almost stepped beyond her bounds the other day but I took care of it um, Grandmaster please forgive her she was just scared don't hurt her Grandmaster she is the love of my life that is what is killing you, Tony, your heart. Have no love for anyone and you will be a free man. Now tell me, Tony, are you ready for your agony to come to an end? Grandmaster, what do we do? The head of your little baby is requested. Ah Is that your little baby? Yes, Grandmaster. Good. Stand up.
What is okay? My baby is gone! My baby is gone! Something has happened. What happened? What, what, what did you just say? I've accomplished it. You know, this project took me a life portion. That is the truth. But I will not forget a brother, a bosom friend who made it possible. Because he actually introduced me to a man in Scotland who gave me the project of millions and billions that I achieved a lot. Afungwa Elotana. You are a brother, you are a friend. You are everything. Because without you, that contract wouldn't have been around. Thank you, and I must give it to you. Oh, God. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not going to come. I'm not going to come. I'm Akani, Wakeba, Akeba, Akoko Akani. Welcome to my war of our former. Okay, to the family. To the family. Thank you. All right, notwithstanding, I want to use this video to also invite the members of the family to the opening of this great hotel of mine. But I first and foremost, I want to seek the the approval of the family for the name of this hotel. 
The name I want to give to this my hotel is Baron World Hotel. <laughs> you love it? To <laughs> <laughs> <So> the family. To <laughs> the family. Nice, nice. To so the family. To so the family. <laughs> yeah. Very powerful investor. That's right. Nice one. Thank you. Nice one. Thank you. 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 So Tony, how are you holding up? I'm good. I'm good. Right. Um, nonetheless, I was wondering, um, why have you not put your money into something real? You see, everyone around here, they have a um, business empire in different places in the country. And I remember you told me some time ago that you want to be a very big business investor. I mean, I could see the ambition burning fiercely in your eyes then. So what happened? Okay. I tell you what. Why don't you um, travel outside the country? invest in a brand in your name, ship it back into this country, or better still, go into um, shipping or some other stuff like construction or oil and gas. You know, I can give you a great deal, you know. And you know, the sweet thing about this whole thing is that as long as you are in the Azima family, you will have undeniable access to all these things. So what do you think about it? Um, well, uh, Barbara, if all you just said now is true, then I think I'll give it a try. I'm going to invest money into all these businesses you have mentioned. Hmm. And let's see how it goes. Wow, nice one. Your choice. Now, yeah. Let's marry. Okay. Oh, but I'm not going 
that pertains to this family. Keep your mind at rest, Tony. You are almost there. Now, let us drink from the water that unites the family.
Mari ya, Om. Mari. My dear husband, I'm sorry that I have to drop you this heartbreaking note. It is with a heart full of burden that I am writing to you. You are a loving, kind-hearted man. I have always prayed to God to have a husband like you. But these mysterious things that we experienced lately is beginning to get beyond my powers. It's beginning to look like something is obviously going wrong and I am scared. I love you, Tony, but it is beginning to occur to me that I don't even know who you are. So I'm sorry that our marriage had to end this way. I just hope you will find peace with yourself for my sudden departure and for this misery you are going through. I know exactly how painful it is that someone you love had to desert you at this time of trouble. But you have to understand that it wasn't easy for me either. I wanted to stay and fight through this with you. But something tells me that I may not survive it. So I had no choice than to run for my dear life. Please, do not bother to look for me. Because I'm gone and never coming back. Just move on with your life. Yours love, Angela. The Grandmaster has done so far are all manipulations to make your conscience free. It's not an intention to hurt you. You see, our loved ones makes us vulnerable. They are our weak points. Tony, Angela is gone. And so be it. Personally, I assume it's a fresh start for you. Barbara, I loved her. And you know it. We're married. But well, she's gone. She saw things that scared her. If you were in her shoe, what would you have done? Forget it, Tony. Hey, big dog now. Man. You can always get bitches anywhere in the world. There are plenty of them. My manager told me you need me tonight. Yeah. So, I hope I'm gonna be well paid. Of course, of course. Wow. You look banging in that dress. Really? Thank you. So, um, how about we go into club first? Ah, uh, okay. I don't mind. So, shall we?
Why are you running? There are ghosts in your room. Ghosts? Yes, there are ghosts in your room. Little children. They appear, they are there. You know what? I'm gone. Go in there and see for yourself. Master, they keep appearing to anyone that comes close to me. Scaring them away. Does it mean that I'm going to live my entire life in loneliness? Please, Grandmaster. Master. Help me. Help me, Grandmaster. Master. I can't continue like this. I just can't. Johnny, I suggest you lie low for some time. Things work differently for different people. Give it some time. Your misery will surely come to an end. Sharon! 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 Shasha!
Please, stop. Sharon, please. Please don't kill me. Please have mercy on me. Please, please, I beg you, please. Please have mercy. Please. please have mercy on me. Please have mercy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. Remember me, uncle. Remember me, uncle, please. Ah, please, 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 please. Grandmaster, they make me sleepless. They appear to me every now and then. They whip me with care, as if they want to torment me to death. I don't know what else to do. I've done everything you asked me to do so that this thing will stop. And yet, it is not working. I am confused. Why is my own case different among every member of this family? I don't want to start thinking that I made a mistake to join this family. You did already, Tony. I see much guilt in you. Your heart is darkened with regret. There is only one way out. And that is an ultimate price to be paid by you. Which price, Grandmaster? Your mother. No, I will never sacrifice my mother. I am ready to sacrifice anything else, but not my mother. You have no choice, Tony. It's your mother. No! I will never sacrifice my mother. Take me instead. But as for my mother, leave her out of this.
Hey, Tony. I'm trying to make this right for you. You have to listen to me. You're running out of time. Come, let's fix this. No, Barbara. I will never come back. I will not. This stupid thing might be working for you. But honestly, it's not working for me. And I've realized that. And I've decided to quit. Yes. You can have your cars. Your houses. The money. Everything. I don't care anymore. What matters to me now is my life. You don't have a choice to make. You belong to the family now. No. I don't belong to your stupid family. A family that cannot provide shelter for each member is not a family. A family that do not care about each member is not a family. I love my mother so much. She matters to me and for no reason will I sacrifice her. Never. I will not do that. Listen, Barbara, for what it was, I will never do that. You all can go to hell. I don't know you anymore. It is a lost cause. He revealed to me how you sold your soul to the devil. He showed me how the Lord you into some barbaric acts. I saw some little babies crying. I saw two girls. Pastor, you are right. I killed those babies. I only killed the two girls. As a matter of fact, they are my nieces. I use them for blood sacrifices. Pastor, honestly, I don't know if God will ever forgive me for all I have done. I don't just know. They have made your world very dark, Tony. You need to be redeemed. You need to be totally saved from all these powers of evil I see revolving around you. But before you can be able to do that, there's a task you must embark on first. Pastor, I incurred this to myself. And I'm ready to do anything to atone for all my sins. Whatever. Tony. You need to go for confession. Confession? Yes. Proverbs 28 verse 13 says, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But whosoever confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. Tony, confessing your sin is the only way out. Those babies you killed, you need to go to their parents and confess. Pastor, that will be suicidal. It's like staking my own life. How can I face the parents of those babies? The mothers of those children suffered for so many years before they could have those babies. 
I don't know how to face them. And besides, I don't think they will ever forgive me. Tony, if God can forgive us our sins, no matter how deep and ugly it seems to be, then who is man about to forgive you? I know it's a very serious task you are about to embark on. But that's the only way out, Tony. That's the only way you can be saved, Tony. So you have to go and get prepared. I am not interested in conceding defeat. Tony must pay for his mess. We will strike and strike and strike him till he falls. I don't care wherever he runs to, or whoever he runs to for safety. Baron. Grandmaster. Barbara. Grandmaster. I put two of you in charge of this. You must pursue Tony. Stop him from everywhere he wants to hide. Tony must die. Uh -huh. uh, good afternoon, Pastor. Uh -huh. Are you ready? Yes, Pastor. What was the name of that hospital again? El Jonah Memorial Hospital. Okay. Let's go to my car. Actually, something happened here, a tragedy happened here about a year ago. And what type of tragedy is that? Good. Three little babies were stolen from here by a man. Yeah, that's true, Pastor. Well, Doctor, I came to see if you can help us establish contact with the parents of these babies. I myself here and my brother here will have something to tell them. Alright, Pastor. Hold on. Maybe call them. I'll get in touch with them. That'll be fine. Alright. Okay. Thank you. Well, Appreciate all your efforts. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Well, I am Pastor Samuel, the founder of City of Salvation Church of God. My visiting here today is of great importance. Actually, something happened here recently. Something that is beyond, in fact, almost beyond explanation. But I know that the power of God is at work. This young man here has something to disclose to you all. And I hope that after hearing him out, you all rise up above the past and move on. Tony, please can we hear you out now? Considering the testimonies you all gave that particular day, I know I have caused you all a lot of pain. The pain I have caused you is immeasurable. Those babies were like treasures to you all. But I took them away. I 
I have come to seek for your forgiveness and also to confess my sins. Even though I don't deserve them. But please, in the name of God, kindly forgive me. This forgiveness means a lot to me. My entire life depends on it. Pastor. No! You can never go unpunished. Never! I prayed for the foot of the womb for some years. I cried day and night. And when God finally gave me one, you took her away from me. And you think I will forgive you? Since then I have not been able to conceive. I will only forgive you if you provide my baby. I never! You, you just think that you can just come and bring a man of God and you just come here and ask him for forgiveness. Everything will become all right, eh? No, man, you need to bring my baby. Mm. You think you can just send people's children like that and then expect forgiveness all of a sudden, eh? You think like that, eh? <laughs> Young man, you are finished. You will not in jail. No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, I want you to know, you are your pastor to know that this matter is still seriously under investigation. From here, straight to cell. From cell to court. From court, I will make sure I will do what? Leave me alone! Please, please take it as well, please. Please take it as well, please. Please, madam. Please take it as well. Hey! Calm down, please. Calm down. Please. Whatever is happening here today is happening for a reason. That will not be the woman reason! Actually, I know that the gravity of this offense is too hard to bear. But God sent this man here for him to be forgiven. So please, you have to forgive him. No! No forgiveness. Please forgive him. No forgiveness. Please, madam, calm down. Please, calm down. I, 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 I'm okay. What's going on? Please talk to me. I am Pastor Sam. Okay. And I accompanied your son down here because he has a confession to make. Confession? Confession about what? Don't worry, madam. Please, can we have a seat first? Please. Of course. Mama, I don't even know how to beg for your forgiveness. I don't think I deserve it, Mama. What is it that you've done that you're asking for my forgiveness? But what is there to forgive? I want you to understand that I did terrible things. 
that I'm not supposed to do. You're making me nervous. So what is it that you've done? Mama, that lady, Barbara. Yes? Do what I told you about. Yes, Barbara, yes, what? I thought she was a good person. I thought she was God said. I never knew she was an agent of the devil. They used her to lure me into a very powerful occultic group which she belongs to. So, did you go with her? Mama. She pretended like she was helping me. But all of a sudden, everything she gave to me disappeared. Mama, I was frustrated with Esther and Sharon. We were roaming in the streets day and night. No food, no shelter. Mama, could you believe that that particular day you called me and told me what my daughter did to you? Mama, I and Sharon and Esther, we are under the rain. Mama, the situation I find myself made me to lose my faith. I lost hope. Mama, joining the courting group was not even the problem. So, so what is? They made me sacrifice human blood. Ah! No, 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 it's not possible. No, it's not possible. You, Tony, you can never do that. It's not possible. Mama, I did it. Mm -hmm. I, I killed it. Hey! I sacrificed three babies. Hey! I also sacrificed Esther and my little baby. Come on! happens for a reason. Truly, he has done so many terrible things, but that doesn't change him. He is still who he is. But could you believe they told him to sacrifice you? Sacrifice me? Yes. But he refused. He bluntly refused. Listen, madam. God is about to use your son for something great. But we need to bring him out from his bondage and save him first. And that's why we need your forgiveness now. Madam, please. Madam, remember, to err is human. But to forgive is divine. Madam, please. Please find a place in your heart to forgive your son, please. Will you bring us back? Please, Madam, forgive him. Hey! 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 Hey!
If I 